Oh, I didn't pay trample time. What is up, guys? And welcome to the Beyond Sanders channel. My name is Shanks. And today, we are on a great map, Lebanon, in Battle for Middle Earth 1 on the page 2.22. And we will get to play with the Rohan faction. Do you know what that means? It is time to recruit the son of Gloin, the dwarf of the Lonely Mountain. Okay, let's go. It's a Rohan, Aizen, and Gondor versus two Gondors and one Aizen guard. I love to spam, you know, heroes in 3v3 matches, and that's why I like to play Rohan the most, because Rohan is the most available heroes. From the cheapest to the most expensive one. Mariodoc Brandybuck is going to be our first choice. Okay. So um, let's creep this one first, you know, that's going to give us additional settlement. We need a lot of eco to get all our heroes up on the field. And with the help of Mary, we can clean those goblins first. And then our peasants can actually, you know, destroy the lair. War chant here. Dude, my hobbit is not listening to me, man. Mary, you are acting weird now. You are acting like Pippin, I'm telling you. Don't act like Pippin, my friend. Okay, we need to keep <laughs> our distance. Luckily, our peasants are war chanted. That means we should be able to creep this no problemo. We deal now 50% more damage. It's a leadership-based game, right? That's what BFM is all about. When somebody would ask me what is the most important thing in this game, uh, you know, next to the heroes and power points, it is definitely the leadership. Okay, so spam resource building, so we get good eco, then we can start spamming heroes, we're gonna be starting with Gimli of course, because with early Gimli we can get him easier to level 3, level 5, that's gonna make him to the most, you know, strongest hero in the game, that's gonna be level 2 peasant, beautiful, nice, get the money, and we can go to this location maybe, oh my god, okay my creeping is going horrible, we need to bring them to this location, but my Hobbit, I don't like my Hobbit. I mean, it's not his fault. I'm not microing him well enough, you know? I'm also cash floating. We need 1,900 boys. 1,900 to recruit the Dwarf, you know? Come on, man. Move peasants. In a dream world, I want the level 1 peasant to get the last hit. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Pippin, go back, Mary, go back, Pippin. No, 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 no. Okay, it's whatever. It's like the worst case scenario because my Hobbit didn't get any experience from this one as well. But it's okay. It's okay. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Okay. Now we have enough money, boys. It's time for a Gimli. And Gimli can creep a Trollia 1v1. And just like, you know, Boromir can. But of course, Boromir is a cheaper than Gimli and also faster than Gimli, but that's all about it. Otherwise, Gimli is a hero with like area of effect damage. It's definitely like um, a replacement for a hero like Ganna, for example, because his leap attack, when you can use it nicely, can deal as much as devastating amount of damage as the Visa Plus from Ganna can, you know. Obviously, uh, you need to skill very hard with the level 5. But once you get to level 5, no hero on foot can escape from you. You will be able to outrun every single one of them. We will win this day. Steady on. I want to capture this outpost, actually. Let's be annoying. Let's be annoying. We will win get there. Today. Okay, he's leaving. I'm going to buy this outpost, actually. Despite. <laughs> and put the orbit inside. <laughs> so he can't buy it, you know. In the worst case, I'm going to lose like 700, but it's okay. I don't care, you know. And in the meantime, I'm also be distracting him and using my Gimli to creep. And once I'm level 5, this Boromir has to pay attention. He has to watch out. It's built a well too for the recovery. We have no heal though, we need to be careful. I mean, the timing is not the best with the Knights of Condor for me. But I need to use the extra one on the troll, otherwise he will kill me. Here we got level 2. We need one more kill to get level 3, okay, I and mean, we to get healing. Now, we have healing for the worst case scenario. I will be losing the creep, but it is what it is. But I will get level 3 eventually anyway. I need to eventually heal here, by the way. 
jump on him? Oh, he's just moving it the same second as I want to jump, man. Let's go back now. Okay. Oh, be careful, Gimli. And this. Can I kill one of them? No, they can't. They, they get escaping. Okay. They have almost the money for Legolas too. That's good. Uh oh Okay, I have healing. I have healing. No problem. No, don't, don't panic, boys. Healing is nerfed in 2.2, so it doesn't heal you to full HP anymore. Beautiful extra from the young Gimli. I mean, guys, welcome to the Gimli show, I guess, okay? That's what is, this is all about, okay? Gimli show from the beginning until the very end. You love to see Gimli, don't you? Towering up. Beautiful. Okay. So, we need only a level and a quarter to get to unlock the Slayer. Like, you need to understand, in the original game, in the original version of the game, Gimni's only purpose was to be tanky. That's all he did. And the Slayer would be available for level 7. He would be much more expensive if he was costing 2500. So, the only reason for Rohan in multiplayer games to ever recruit Gimli was if it was super late game and you had like lots of money and you want to spend it anywhere you know what i mean that's the only reason but in 2.2 gimli got a lot of love a lot of love so cheaper is better for creeping you deal more damage to layers and also slayer will be available for level 5 so you don't need to get him to level 7 which is quite difficult actually if you ask me you know level 7 for a slow hero like gimli you will die, Faramir. You can't show your quality here, my friend. Oof. Nice damage from the extra against heroes too. And Theron got, uh, got to share experience. My Legolas got crippled, but I think he can't kill me. Lord says no carnage. Without carnage, you have not the chance to touch me. Legolas will out damage you. Legolas. Nobody can damage out damage Legolas in a bow fight. That's his specialty, okay? That's like where he's the champion at. I'm going to use the ability here. I want to jump on them so badly, dude. But there is another lord. Be careful, heal me! Oh, he healed me, but it was a little bit too late. Beautiful jump to save the... To revenge the seed. Um, the elf. He's chasing me, but I think we should be in a good spot. There are some pikemen. We can always press it, S and move. There are some rangers too. Extra. Kaboom! Okay, almost level 5, boys. Very close. Back me up with, my, with your pikemen, please. Nice, okay. You are able to save the dwarf. Amazing. Amazing. But this Boromir doesn't want to die either, man. He's so tanky, you know? Because he has only one combo. The one combo is not going to do too much. Crippled Poro, but I don't think we have the jam damage to kill him. The rangers are, you know, smashing us. Uh, but we will get more leadership now with Aragorn, the king of Gondor. And my Legolas died. You know, that's the downside of not recruiting Legolas first, because Legolas is also one of these heroes that scales incredibly well with, with uh, levels. Each, I mean, the thing about Legolas is his attacks individually don't really hurt that much, but um, it it's about the attack speed he has. Like, he's outranging every other archer hero, like he has the longest range as an archer unit. Boom, boom. Oh, he didn't throw the axe! He didn't throw the axe! Uh, he... Dude, what is happening, Gimli? Are they getting out of the range? Is there like a limited range? Potentially. Because he was... Did you guys see this? He was like pulling off the eggs and he was changing his mind. I was like, nah. Okay, my ally is getting rushed. We have no pikemen in the castle. That's actually so risky what we are doing, right? We have like no army. I, I have no army. And the only player who can actually, you know, make pikemen is Isengard. And he needs to send at least one battalion of pikemen to my castle or to my camp. And one battalion of pikemen to the camp of my Gondor ally. Oh, I didn't pay attention. Extra at least. But they don't die, dude. They don't die. It's a bot of, you know, it's a matter of time. He will die. You can't leap. <laughs> you can't deep attack. I don't think I can survive this. Rangers and two combos. Oh, and also Farami hurts me actually a lot. Paramis warning arrow is also pretty strong, but now he has no ability, um, he has no cripple, that means we can use this and run. At least harm some experience with Legolas. 
And dude, I'm not very lucky and I also play very rusty. I'm not paying attention to my heroes that much. If Gimli would be level 5 there, you know, maybe we could get away. But it's fine. We need some army. So now hear me out. We have um, Theoden level 3. That means we only need one more level for the Glorious Charge. And for that reason, it's because my I, I have ally who is Isengard. Who is making combos. And I think what I need are uh, horses. I want to get Glorious Charge with my Rohirrim army, okay? That's my plan. Legolas level 3. Amazing. Gimli is getting back on the field soon. It's even better. And let's use Mary to recapture this farm next to our camp. This one. Okay. So far, so good. I mean, Gimli is like a very long revive time, to be honest with you. A very long revive time. Come on, upgrades. Come on, do it. Do it to me. Do it for me. And then I want to make, you know, Rohirrim, normal Rohirrim. We don't need Rohirrim arches here. I don't want to use on Boromir. I want to use it on the things I can actually kill. And ranges, I definitely can kill. Ranges are very weak in terms of armor. That means Degolas can hard counter them, outrange them. Look at the damage now. One, two. We two shot them. It's like a legit counter to ranges spam. And ranges. They actually cost a lot of money, right? They cost a lot. So if you kill a battalion of rangers and when they fire arrows, they, that's, that means like a thousand. A thousand resources gone. Just like that, you know? Okay, let's demolish this. And also Gimli is back in the business. That's amazing. Now go for the stable. Okay. Oh, my ally is getting slaughtered there from Gondor Knights. No pikemen. Oh, dude. Like, in 1.06, you could get away. Because combos in 1.06 were actually the strongest units low-key. Like, a combo was able to 1v1 a horse, which should be their main weakness. But now in 2.22, the crossbowmen, the archers, and also the soldiers, uruks, and peasants, they are way weak against horses. So in order to counter them, you need to recruit counter units. When you play Gondor, these are Tower Guards, for example, or Boromir, that can knock them down on the ground. If you play Isengard, it's Isengard Pikemen. As Mordor, you have like multiple um, counters, you have Trolls, Nazgul, Witch King, and Mumma kills, you know, <laughs> you have a lot of counters. But as Rohan, for example, Gimli is a good counter to horses. With the extra, it deals bonus damage. Eoma is a good counter. The Smite can one-shot horses. And obviously Rohirrim archers are countering them too. Because Rohan is the only faction that doesn't have any pikemen. It's a calf faction. You know, it's like a faction that is based on mobility. Beautiful shot. Okay, now? Now it's level 5. Okay, he crippled my Legolas. It's a big mistake, sir. That's a big mistake, sir. Jump on their face, Gimli. Son. Boom, chakalaka. Legolas is the gunners, but there is nothing I can do about that. Kill him. Revenge your elf. This guy crippled him, Gimli son. Kill him, Gimli. Look, damage against Gandalf even. Look the damage against Gandalf, but he bubbled it. He shield bubbled it. I'm not demolishing the structures in time. Now is Gimli gone. Like, there is no... Uh, I even didn't heal, but I think I couldn't kill him anyway because the Slayer was all about to be off. And then I can't get away from them, you know. But we killed Lourdes. We got a beautiful jump off and we have collected two power points. Unfortunately, we lost like the outpost <laughs> and also our heroes like Legolas and Gimli. But it could be worse, you know, it could be worse. Like, Lourdes is so annoying to play against. Like, you know, <laughs> it's like a cheat code. <laughs> the ability is so broken, the cripple ability. This guy's going for the market, please, at the outpost. Okay. We have, we have actually lots of leadership here, no? Still Theodin and also Aragorn. That means in total 90% more damage, you know. 50% more armor, so it's pretty decent. And the shields will also make us quite tanky. Oh, do it! Oh, he doesn't have it. Okay. I, I needed to go for the Elven Wood. I can't go for the Anduril. I need to have like the wood to eventually use it before trampling. Or use it when they use it to cover it, you know? 
Need more horses. And also Elma. I will put Elma next to my horses so maybe he can get experience by trampling. All of a sudden I'm very broke actually. Four units. In Theodin, still not level 4. Level 4, I would feel very confident to go for a trample. If I was again enough around this, that's gonna be a big fight, boys, okay? Oof. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Dude, this guy's rushing me at the, the same time. But I need to defend my ally first. I need to defend my ally. Hopefully, Ganda from my other ally can actually keep my camp secured. Okay, boys. It is time for death and glory. Just crush those horses if you can have. Go, 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 go. Trample time. Charge, 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 charge. Trample is so satisfying, but they don't die. They have too much leadership. They are focusing my Elma, but I don't care. Elma was level one only. Ganav got crippled. Just keep trampling. I need to heal his Saruman. I need to heal his Saruman from my ally. I'm gonna heal him. Don't worry, I got you, I got you. Okay, nice. I think he was able to steal some of them. That's big. Yeah, that's big. He could stole Rangers. That's the reason why we are winning this fight. This guy had even forgotten that ability. Gimli, do it. I wanna kill this Farami, actually. I can't kill Gandalf because he can get away, but I can easily catch Farami off guard if he doesn't pay attention. But he does pay attention. He's getting mounted. Look the damage. Like, all you need is three to maximum four hits, and this is over, you know? Okay, beautiful. Nice, we defend it. Okay, that's good. That's very good, actually. I almost died. Only level one, though. Couldn't get any experience. I, I want to I trample this. Look, my horses, you see, they are tanky against arrows, you know? They are very tanky against arrows. Look, fireball, two fireballs simultaneously. Kill this Saruman. He studied him. Show him who's the real boss. Nice, Gandalf. Okay, beautiful. Now we will be able to reclaim the outpost. It's a, it's a big achievement for us. And a very greedy move from the enemy team to not make any pikemen. Like, when you... I mean, it's just like one tower guard. You need only one. You put them in between the army. You put them in the porcupine formation. And it means Rohan or any horse can't charge into you. If they do, they will die. You know? But people are too lazy to micro with one single pikeman. All you need. One. That's it. You don't need more. Okay, we need more horses, but we are kind of broke, man. I can't even upgrade them. I'm so... I'm so broke. I'm pretty tempted to just keep Gimli in my castle, uh, in my camp, to defend. Oh, Aragon always with the army of my ally to give leadership all the time, you know? It's very important too. Okay, so... And also Lego does back in the business. Ah, just... We can crush him, maybe. Maybe we can crush him. I'm gonna use my... Um, oh, he's war chanting too? Okay. Well, that's gonna be a big damage output what he will be able to deal to my ally. Everything is getting slaughtered, but... Is this guy not defeated? He just lost his camp. Oops, sorry. Dude, this guy is always dodging my jumps, man. Stop dodging. I will kill you, Faramir. One. Two. <laughs> Faramir, go down. Look, this Gimli is still fighting. I want to get level four with this guy so badly. Guys, we need to make a deal. If my Elma somehow gets level four here, you gotta smash the like button. Here, during this fight, okay? Don't lie, Theodin! I feel almost, I've almost healed. In a second. Kill Gandalf, kill Gandalf. Cut her off his way. Is he low? Okay, okay, hold on. Hold on. Spear. Do it! Oh, Gandalf. Gandalf! Level 5, okay. Nice, dude. That's now even more leadership for the Rohirrim. That's amazing. What is this Gandalf doing? <laughs> Actually, he almost was able to destroy my uh, the camp of uh, the camp from my ally. That's why you need always a pikeman in your castle or camp, you know. Against, uh, especially against a player who actually is experienced three v three, he will keep rushing you all the time. And you have to have pikemen, otherwise you will lose. Even when, the problem is you lose the game when your armies uh, when your structures are destroyed. You know, level five. 
I want to kill this guy now, dude. I, I really want to kill him. What is Saruman doing, man? I want to kill this guy so badly. Go, 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 go. Use? Okay. I will, I will chase him down. The two hunters. They couldn't do anything in the Fangon Forest against him. But this is no Fangon Forest. This is Lebanon, my friends. Okay. This is a big army. He killed my allies, Gandalf. I will, you are dead. You are, you are 100% dead. You can't survive this. Dude, use it. He's so slippery, you know. Easter versus Hulk. Hulk lands. Level 7. Ooh, charge, charge, charge. Rain? I don't know whose rain this is. Not sure, but we are slaughtering him. It's not, uh, it's not enemy rain. It's actually from our, from our ally because we are still glowing. And our horses didn't die. Very close to level 4. Can we get close this charge? The answer is yes, we can. You can. We'll, we will not make peace, dear Saruman. We will not make peace, son. You gained. You ain't getting anywhere. Send Grima Wontong next time. Corrupt our theory next time. I mean, to be honest, Gimli performance was not very lit, but I think overall still a demon performance. Very good, you know, good synergy with the teammates. The combination is very strong. Three unique factions, always good. Um, I'm happy that we had no Mordor opponent and no Mordor ally because Mordor is just too strong in 3v3s. And every game without Mordor is just much more fun, you know. I have almost EOD. I will be flexing with the EOD. Guys, are you ready for the flexing EOD? I summon you to fulfill your oath. <laughs> what say you? Just to kill the one pike, man. Who cares? The game is already over. Yeah, GG well played, boys. What a demon performance. I hope you guys are enjoying these 3v3s because I'm enjoying them a lot. And during the cold winter days, I will try my best to deliver you as much PFME content as I potentially can because you guys have been always so supportive towards me and i really appreciate it guys thank you so much for the huge support you have been showing to our channel since years some of you guys are very big ogs some of you guys are being one of my first subscribers on the channel and i never have imagined that we could get to this number what we have right now thank you guys so much victorious you know like always let's see i, I think i'm killed the most unit let's see this show me the end game graphics do it yeah 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 of course yeah gg well played